Hey everybody, Sean from Silicon Theory here, and this is the new Pixel Visual Core. Uh, actually, no, it's not. It's the new Snapdragon 845. But if I showed you this render of the actual Pixel Visual Core, you might not be that excited. And if you own a Pixel 2, you probably should be. So this is the theory behind the Pixel Visual Core. So what is the Pixel Visual Core actually? It is not exactly a CPU and it's not exactly a GPU. Although if you listen to us on Anchor, I called it a GPU earlier this week. It's more of what's addressed as an IPU, an image processing unit. It does possess some of the characteristics of a CPU though. It has a Cortex ARM A53 core. It's got LPDDR4 RAM and it also has a PCIe bus. And it's also got an octa-core processing module that actually handles the image processing duties. According to this Google blog, it's actually a dedicated coprocessor that offloads the HDR Plus algorithms from the Google Camera API. Now, the standard Google Camera API has HDR Plus built in, so it's not really even taking advantage of it. What it's designed to do is allow third-party apps that tie into the Google Camera API to be able to take advantage of the HDR Plus algorithms. So in theory, things like Instagram, Snapchat, and other third-party camera apps would benefit from the ability to have the HDR Plus added to the images taken with those apps. Which, let's be honest, you really want them to because machine learning and Google's HDR Plus added to standard pictures as it is, is awesome. It's also how Google's able to do things like a portrait mode with a single lens instead of a dual lens setup. Now that Android 8.1 Oreo is starting to roll out to devices, there is a little bit of finagling you're going to have to do in order to get the Google Pixel Visual Core enabled on your device. And a few words of caution, you are going to have to enable developer options in order to be able to do this, so if you're not comfortable doing that, don't try this at home. But if you're watching this video, you're probably a tech enthusiast, so I'm going to assume that you're going to understand that you need to proceed at your own risk, and I'll give a few simple instructions to allow you to do so. First, you need to take the Android 8.1 Oreo update. Duh. Second, you'll also need to enable the developer options on your phone. Here's how you do it. You go to the Settings button, select System, go to the About Phone at the bottom portion, and under Build Number, you'll want to tap five times to enable the Developer Options menu. And you should see a Toast menu saying, you are now a developer if you've done it correctly. Go back to the System menu, and you should now see a Developer Options menu button. Under Debugging, for the look for the camera HAL HDR Plus toggle and turn it on. Reboot your phone and now you're all set. Now remember I said when the Pixel Visual Core is mostly for third-party apps? It turns out there's some folks on Reddit and other forums right now saying that the Pixel Kit Visual Core has actually enabled some better features and processing with the stock Google Camera app. Things like taking front selfies while in portrait mode appear to be taking a lot less time than they used to in terms of overall raw processing speed. Since Google didn't exactly tell us that the visual core was in the phone to begin with, there may actually be some unforeseen benefits to using it on your phone. So if you want to, you should go ahead and turn it on. I know I'm excited about it, and most Pixel 2 owners probably should be too. The future of computational photography is very bright. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you liked all of our content, mash that thumbs up button, and if you want to get more of it, make sure you hit the subscribe button that looks like our logo in the upper left hand corner of this video. Thanks again for watching, and remember, we'll talk tech soon.